Hello everybody, Skippy Gamer here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. And I have not made part two in a year now. I'm, I'll try my best to explain that as short as, as, as short as I can, but in all seriousness, we are still in the middle of a tutorial. Okay, so if you don't if you don't know the beginning of the tutorial, please go back to the other video. Um need to jump. Be twice to roll. Oh. Left and right, to roll. Oh. Tap the D-pad twice in any direction. Okay, that's what I said. First, think for yourself. Move, then. You move, then use the cards. So, during our battle, we're gonna have to move around and dodge things, and when we feel the time is right, use the cards. Good. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I will show you. Okay, little black man. First time used to keep late in YouTube ever since my first video I ever uploaded. Okay, two actually. Concerning my first one was kind of a failed one, lasted one minute. Then my second one was the same one, except it was the full length. There, you have no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Focus, everybody. Focus. Did the cards return to you, and they will. Reloading cards. Select the reload card icon, and hold down the A button. Come back. Alright, let's play some poker. The strength of your heart brought to back the lost cards. You can recall the spent cards at any time. You need to only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. The cards are, are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. This is gonna be a hard game. I have a personal friend who knows Kingdom Hearts well, and... Yeah, he told me this was like one of the hardest games, Chain of Memories, and... Uh, maybe. Oh, what did I get myself into? Anticipation, the flow... Anticipate, an anticipate the flow of battle and choose the most effective cards. <coughs> Sorry. You may use any card in your deck. Okay. So, L and R to select the cards. Whichever one seems good to you. The four, the four card types that you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely on enemy cards. To use cards from a different category... Oh, press select. Cards will empower you with whether you are attacking or defending. Okay. But it is up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget. Alright, tutorial over for a whole year. Are you two alright? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, there was this weird light. And the rest was a big blank. The rest is a big blank. Well, try to remember what's happened. I need to keep my journal up to date. Hey, wait a second. Donald, where do you, where do you say? Where do you get to the new dude? Dude? You do, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with your clothes. Oh yeah, they got new outfits. The cards again. This is for you to ponder. 
master the cards, and make your way through the castle. From here on, you walk alone. You mean, we can't go with him? That's not fair. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. It was just one adventure. How do you know he won't handle, handle himself? Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine. I can take care of myself. The hero speaks boldly. Go then. The rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk to avenues and latent memories, and you shall meet someone dear to you. Don't bow to me. I don't, I don't like people bowing to me. That's, that's, that's truth. I have a really bad feeling about this. Relax, Jimmy. Jiminy. I'm ready for any... For any tricks uh, he's uh, got up his sleeve. How hard can it to be to figure out these cards? Well, ain't like Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll tell you that. Is it? By the way, if you hear any noise in the background, please ignore it. All I have to do is use one of... Is to use one in front of that door over there. You can perform actions on the field. So these you could do on the field. Move, swing the keyblade, and a jump. To open doors in the field, strike them with your keyblade. So we have to break the door down. Obtained. Key of beginnings. Okay, now I'm gonna have to explain very shortly why it took me this long to, like, upload part two. Okay. Um, part one was my very first video ever, and back then, I was, like, so full of ideas, and I had, like, a lot of ideas rushing in my head of what I could possibly do, and I, so to speak, didn't really think twice on how much pressure it was gonna be. So I started some other Let's Plays. I started, uh, Final Fantasy II, a Game Boy Advance version, and a Mega Man Battle Network, and I started Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, as my other Let's Plays along with this. Well, after a while, I decided not to do Mega Man Battle Network and Final Fantasy anymore, but I was so interested and hooked on Mario RPG, so I focused solely on that. Although, during the while, I... Okay, I never got my YouTube account renewed then, so I couldn't upload more than 15 minutes. And my recorder couldn't record anything for more than 10 minutes which is Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Um, so, yeah, those things were in the way. And when I, before I found out that I had to, like, renew my YouTube account, I actually made a part two, a very long one, like 20 minutes or something. Then I found out that I couldn't upload more than 15 minutes, so I didn't. And when there were other times when I wanted to upload another part two of this, I really didn't feel like it, or was pressured not to. But... Anyways, no, I wasn't pressured by anyone else, but... But you know what? Lately, I have been feeling like going back to Let's Playing. Although, I can't go back to Mario RPG concerning a glitch there that I can't continue on. So I, I would have to get a recorder for my TV and play it on my TV. Um... So... On doing a lot of five days of gameplay... Oh yeah! I made two, ser two series on here called Five Days of Gameplay and The Gaming Leap. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to check those out. They're so, they're so cool. Um, but along me making more episodes of Five Days of Gameplay and the Gaming Leap, I decided I wanted to go back to Let's Playing, but of course, I couldn't go back to Mario RPG concerning this glitch. I really hope I could go back to it because I really enjoyed it. Besides, we just defeated one of the hardest bosses ever. We'll talk about it there. Um, so. I was gonna attempt to maybe do a do a let's play, and oh, I was thinking of just dropping all the other let's plays. So I'm not gonna be going back to those other let's plays like Final Fantasy or Battle Network. I may one day in the future, but 
As far as I could tell, I'm not going near them. But... But I decided to... But I decided to suck it up and play this game. I mean, come on, this is the video where I started. So why not start... Why not continue it? Okay, that's the short version of it. Um, I don't know how short... How long I could have took it, taken. I should leave... I should leave an annotation to skip all that if you just want to see me play. Okay, uh, enough talk. Let's let's go to the door. Oh my gosh. To proceed to the next room, you need a map card. Map cards are used to synchronize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of obvious on how to do it. Oh. The number of the number number you see in the middle of the screen is the criterion. I, I'm sorry, is it criterion? Never mind. I, I, don't know. I, don't know, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I might have butchered it. Criterion for opening the door. The criterion display now mean means that that the door will open with a value of one or greater. You need to pick a, a card that meets this criteria. I guess zero cards by zero are special cards which meet all criteria. The cards without without a market value is a key card. Key cards are only used as I think I get it. There's cards that are marked the same way and we open them in that way. I'll learn this as we go along. Reverse Town. Oh, up there is the map. This is where we came from, I believe, and this is where we need to go. Although it doesn't show where we are, which is... Well, I guess it's okay, but still. The swirling crystal in front of, Stor of Sora... In front? More like to the left of Sora. Is called a safe point. Stand near it and to press the A button to open and to open the save menu. Save game. Yep. Aside from saving at a save point, you can also quick save anywhere in the field. Opening game menu. Choose quick save. Okay. Uh. Try striking barrels. Oh. Potion! Inanimated objects aren't the only thing things you can hit. Touching a heartless on the field starts a battle. But you can strike the heartless first to gain the upper hand. Strike! Woohoo! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm selecting my cards. Use my hand. Well, that was easy. Let's save it here. let Goofy take care of the big guy while I take care of the minions. That was my plan. I honestly don't know where to go. I don't remember where to go. Woo! 
Okay. There's times in RPGs I just want want to play the game and just not go into battle. The cards you see shall be the key. Oh, doors and emblems with the egg crown are special doors. You need the special cards called the car key cards to open these doors. But to just having the key card isn't enough to open the door. You need the key card and one or more additional cards meeting certain criteria. Pick map cards to see the criteria, and you can open the door. So I'll have to come back here later. I guess I wouldn't mind not having the cards in this game. Okay, leveling up, we can either level up HP, CP, or strength. Um, I'll go with that. By 15. Awesome! Whoa. Okay, they are gonna keep coming, are they? Yep, they're gonna keep coming. They're gonna keep coming. Okay. Um, did we just come here? I do not have the right card. Yeah, this is a different spot. I to return! I think card break means I broke the spell of the cards they were using. Meaning, stopping their attack. Up! Uh, it meant the door, not... You can call this a blind let's play, cause... I, though I've seen this game before, like, in videos and stuff, I don't really play this game all the way through. But I don't know. The process of how it gets to the ending is completely a mystery to me. I've seen videos and stuff, or maybe one video, portraying the entire story of the timeline, so I pretty much know about it. And I can't wait to see what they what they do at Kingdom Hearts 3, but, but hey, this'll be fun. And, like before, like the Mario RPG Let's Play, there's gonna be lag. Oh, finally. this, uh, card of begin- what was that called? Wait. Can... This door. I think we need to go in here. Key of beginnings. Oh, come on. R. Oh. Open the door. Okay, there we go. So first, select any sort of card. Card thing, use that other card, and boom, we're in. Hmm. 
fighting alone isn't as easy as I thought. I had a hunch that it was them. Ah, don't pop out of nowhere like that. It's not our fault, we didn't know what's going on either. Gorge, your fi fighting's uh, gotten kind of rusty. You sure you don't need us? I'm fine, honest. Think like that, and you're as good as a heartless fodder. Look! Final Fantasy VIII, I believe. Leon. It's Leon. Leon? Leon? Uh, I don't know. I might butcher the name, sorry. Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. And how do you know my name? I've never seen you... seen any of you of you before in my life. Quit playing, uh, Leon. We all fought to the Heartless together. You must- you know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't. Sorry. I can't believe it. How can you have forgotten about us? I feel for you, but you got to the wrong guy. Happens all the time. Don't take it so personally, so personally, Sora. Huh? You do know his name. No, now hold on. Why do I know your name? You think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not very funny. Sora's really hurt. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... Okay, I had this theory. He he is an illusion of Sora's memories, like this world... Like, he's like an illusion, because we're going to places in Sora's memories, and we are in a point in time in his memories where he they just met, so to speak. Like in the first one. But... Now? Now I'm confused. Hey! I don't get it. What happened to my memory? I don't know, Lee. Maybe Aerith was on to something after all. Hey! She's from Final Fantasy VII! Although, I would say this in every single thing. I hate her outfit. I I'm just not into stuff like that. I hate it when movies and games do that. Never mind. See, she said that she see sensed someone uncanny kind of... Uncanny kind of... Kind of power and asked us to look into it. Well, we looked. And this is... And this is as uncanny as it gets. Well, thank you. Maybe we should bring Sora and the others to Aerith. Yuffie, you know my you know my name. Yep. Looks like you know mine too. A friend of yours? Nope, total stranger. But I definitely know his name. Stranger, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. Put his shirt on. Well, gee, Yuffie. I guess all our problems are solved. Anyways, I'm going to run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give Sora and the others the grand tour. See you later. See ya. And say hi to her for us. We know Final Fantasy VII. We know Cloud. We know Aerith. We know Sephiroth. We, uh... Uh, you guys seen it before, right? Uh, Final Fantasy VII, or... You know... Oh, come on, you're not a Final Fantasy fan if you don't know them. Well, let's get on with it. Come come on, follow me. Be careful, though. 
there are still heartless wandering around the town. I'd better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. Oh, come on, we could take care, care of our, ourselves, and we have no choice, do we? See the, the numbers printed on your cards? Yeah, what, is, what are those? They range from 0 to 9. The higher the number means mean stronger cards. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the, uh, the higher card wins. I, this could be my emulator, or this could be the game was supposed to. Never mind. Go on, try it out. Oh, okay. I get it. Here. I forgot about it. Here. Have any of you played War with cards? It's kind of like that. Whichever card is greater than one other card, the winner. So, whichever card number is greater is the winner when we clash. He had a zero card, he has an eight card. See how it works? Playing a card higher than your opponent and breaking through their defenses is called a card break, which we have been doing in some of the battles. Playing a lower your card results in you attacking in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's cards is higher. Whoever is on the losing side of a break is left wide open for open to attacks. Don't let th that person be you. Cards with zero as its value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. Oh, okay. But you have to wait until after the enemy plays their card. If you play the zero card too soon, the enemy's card will break with any card did they play. Makes sense. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes if it comes last. And useless if it comes first. Okay, I think this is a glitch. Of my emulator, possibly. Try to make the most of it. Now, okay, this game kind of boring. You can read it. Now it's cards. I don't have any money. You don't have to use battle cards one cards one edge. You can also assemble three cards and use them at once. It's called a stock. Uh this game kind of it's getting kind of boring right now. Every time you use a slight 
this light. You, you lose the first card you picked for this light. You can't reload it. The card won't return until the end of the battle. Okay, wow. Okay, so use that ability wisely. Relying only on slight, so will cause uh, your cards to run out. That means trouble. Wow, okay. This is gonna be a hard game. Thank you. Think you've got the hang of it, Sora? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick it, pick up the rest when I fight the, uh, some real battles. Yeah, we will. Us gamers will. Oh! Ow. Here, I found, I found this lying around. Take it. Ooh, good catch. Remember what I told you, and told you, and make good use of it. What was the card? Simba. Key of guidance. Whoa. All right, so I think this is a good, could be a good place to stop, and a better place to stop to stop than where we were last time. <laughs> okay, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like my channel. So, if you like this video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. I ask for no swearing in the comments. Tell friends and family about this channel. I am so sorry it took this this very long to upload this next video for this let's play and oh my gosh what a bad place to stop on my first on the on part one you know but i'm sorry but i'm gonna be playing this game all the way through i plan on it so and so far i'm gonna keep going so yep so stay tuned for that and don't worry i will be making five days of gameplay videos and the quantum gaming in between playing in between the let's plays when i see fit so yep thanks for watching and and I'll see you next time. All right, see you, everybody.